Hi guys, welcome to Responsive Muse YouTube channel. Some weeks ago, I showed you how to create a cool highlight effect using a slideshow in Adobe Muse. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I prepared the assets to create that highlight effect. If you don't know what tutorial I'm talking about, you can find the link in the description. So what I did is I chose this graphics that I downloaded from FreePick. Link is in the description too, by the way. So what I did is I created the first slide with no background. What I did is exported it to export it to PNG so I have a, a transparent background. And then the other slides, what I did is added a layer in between the elements so I can create this highlight effect. So for the second slide is I'm just I brought to front the yellow elements and the next one is the pink elements and then the orange ones and then the green ones. So this is all like your option. I'm just showing you this so, so you guys can be creative and do something else. And so this is what I did. I'm going to open the, the original file here. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate the artboard. So I'm going to select the artboard to the artboard tool here. I'm going to select the artboard tool here and click on alt. So it will copy it and I'm going to do this four times. Okay, so as you see, if this happens, I'm using Illustrator, by the way. If this happens, this means if you see that the background here, you can't even select, you can't do anything. It means that you can't open your layers panel. You can see there's a lock here. So I'm just going to unlock it by clicking on it and just delete it. So this is going to be our first slide. We need nothing else than this. Okay, so next thing is... No, sorry. Now I just remember we do actually do need something because we can't. I can't export it as as PNG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the rectangle, which is sorry because this is really easy to forget. But this is a little trick, as all the slides have to be the same size, so the transition is smooth and you don't see any differences in in the sizes. So um, what I'm going to do is create a rectangle the same size as the artboard and uh, it's going to be completely transparent so sorry so I'm going to click over this one which they say is none so there's nothing but it will respect the size so whenever I export this you can see it will export the whole thing because the rest of them is going to have uh, a, little, a little background so I'm going to copy sorry this art, this sorry, this rectangle. I'm going to leave it here. But this one actually is going to have a color, so I'm going to double click this, and I'm going to use the same color as the background. So the color is a dark green, which is this one over here, and I'm going to bring down the opacity to 89. Okay, so. As I can see here, I'm going to bring to front the number one, the notebook, and the post-its. So just select the elements. I'm going to click on Shift to select several elements. And just after this, you're going to right click, click on Arrange, and bring to front. Now, what I'm going to do is just drag this over here. And you'll see how the other elements are hidden behind this, this layer. There's a rectangle here that belongs actually to, to number two, but I can just delete it because it won't tell the difference with the, with the dark layer that I have in between them. So I'm going to do the same with number two. I'm going to copy this one and leave it here. So number two is, sorry, not the mouse, but the calendar, the pen, and the pin over here. So same thing, right click, arrange and bring to front. Drag this other layer. So you might need to do some minor fixes, but 
don't worry this is, good. This, is this is a fast way to do it okay let's go to number three I'm gonna copy the layer two so number three let me check what I did here number three is the mouse and the other pin this mouse is a bit tricky because you can guys can see if I click on it there's something there's part of the cable that's hidden between I mean under number two so I'm going to show you how to fix this because the thing is that no matter if you want to bring it up I want to show you if you bring this up select number three select the mouse and I'm going to select the pin right click arrange and bring to front so this is what's going to happen you see how the cable shows it will always show so easy way is I'm just going to create a path sorry a path it's going to follow this line so now I'm going to click the path click on this and open the pathfinder and click on trim so now you're going to right click click over sorry click the the mouse right click and ungroup it so now the elements are separated and there was a shadow too which is also trim so now you can actually drag this and get the same effect oops sorry there's the green color here which I have to ungroup it to it's probably pretty common when you download assets from third parties that most of the elements are grouped which is very handy and I'm going to the last slide so I'm going to bring up number four the cup and the mobile phone so right click arrange and bring to front and leave it here okay so what I'm going to do now is this is the tool for assets export which is pretty fast right now so what I'm going to do is select first slide and just drag it so that's the first asset select the whole second slide the third and so on so I'm going to export first file has to be completely transparent because I want everything highlighted and I, want, I don't want any layer on top of it so first should be exported as a PNG but the rest of the assets can be exported because it will be lighter can be exported in JPEGs okay so that's it if you want to see how to continue and create this highlight effect this cool highlight effect with a slideshow then watch the second video Thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked the tutorial.